should always look to yourself. So if a receiver drops a pass, yeah, I'm mad at it. But I look to myself to say, why did he drop that pass? Uh, you know, could I put it in a better spot to make it easier for him to catch? And I think, you know, as a leader, as a player, whatever you're doing, it's your responsibility to do that. Because if you're always looking to other people to point the finger, then you'll never take responsibility for what you're supposed to do. So that's why I look at that. And so most of the time, when I'm in the, in the I, I actually know, post game media conference, yes, I blame it on myself. And uh, I'm consistent in doing that because that's how I feel at that time. No, 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 and then you go back and you watch it and you say, okay, well, yeah, I had a fault here, but there was other faults here. But you always look to yourself first, but you're not always pointing the finger. And uh, for me, you know, what motivated me uh, as a kid, you know, my, my uh, favorite athlete in any sport of all time was Michael Jordan. Uh, so, yeah, I wanted to be like Mike. <laughs> Not like Mike. You know, hopefully I can be like Mike in the NFL. But, um, you know, that, that, that motivated me to just be the greatest. I want to be the best at what I do, no matter what it is. And that's what I looked at for school. And I don't just preach that. You know, I lived it. I, I made straight A's. And I got a lot of toys for it, too. So, <laughs> I mean, my, you know, I, I just, that was my motivation, to be the best, uh, compete in the classroom, compete on the field and then just continue to get better. Be willing to do what everyone else is not willing to do. Thank you. Well, in your uh, 